Hey guys, I am back again. Um, and today I'm just gonna be guys showing you guys around my uh, T4.1 factory team. So you guys have never seen this card. It's because I had a bunch of leftover T4 parts from my last one, and started putting one together. And then I realized how much I really liked the stadium truck class as a whole, and how much fun it was to race. So I decided to take my SC10 factory team parts and put them on here. So these are, uh, this is pretty much a factory team kit T4 besides the body. And yeah, that's pretty much it besides the body. Um, these are my dad's tires. You may recognize them from my old T4. I did sell these with the T4. Uh, I just have them on there for now because I don't have any wheels for it. Uh, Black Panthers on... DE rims and uh, low C taper pins on yellow low C rims for the front. Uh, this is my old body that was on my old truck. My dad got a new one, so he gave me this one. I just painted the outside of it. Windows are electrical tape. Uh, patches, electrical tape, just extra T4 stickers I had. Uh, that's just to keep it from cracking. You can see it all on the inside. I didn't have any uh, shoe glue and drywall tape so I made a little grill too that, was, that really looks off center now I'm looking at it um, just got T4 stickers all over it RC10 um, a few things before I go into the car too much more is I'm back on my iPod because I figured since my computer broke it's better to have edited videos than and a little worse quality than really good quality and unedited one shot videos because this makes it easier as well as because I can edit part mistakes I make which are inevitable to make some mistakes during these videos and just allows me to do a little bit more make them look a little nicer and that's pretty much it guys and I'll take you in a little closer to my team I have the carbon factory team front front deck uh, 2075 tracks a servo that Brian said I could have I was able to fix which I was able to thanks a lot for that man um, one aluminum tie down and I also have a castle my castle ESC with my Traxxas TQ uh, radio set up I was able I me and my dad made these aluminum plates to run uh, Center mounted motor or ESC instead of having your ESC over here and your receiver over here making it heavier towards this side it centers everything keeping it flying nice and straight so once in there it doesn't curve at all it should stay straight in theory haven't had haven't had the chance to try it quite yet but once again I have the factory team smaller bore threaded shocks with the gray springs I have red springs on front uh, just what comes in the kit. Um, got the. I did switch the motor out for my 3800 Castle. You guys may remember that. Just the 47 uh, waterproof was way too much power for this car. I mean, quarter throttle. These tires would balloon to the max. Um, it's got the factory team aluminum motor plate, the clear uh, motor cover. I also, I'm running a 23 pinion with a 87 tooth spur I believe the stock one that comes in the kit have the aluminum standoffs and also I put a J Concepts uh, chassis protector on there uh, they come packed to twos and my dad happened to have an extra one and he let me have it because he hasn't messed his up too bad um, show you guys one last look with the body on and I'll be pretty much it so there you guys go, that is my factory team T4.1, uh, well I hate this body, but there it is, sorry for the wobbling right there, um, guys, uh, comment and rate this video if you liked it or not, uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos and would like to see more, I'm going to try and get two videos a week, I'm going to try shoot for two. Expect at least one video a week. Um, just school and stuff. Summer's coming up though, so after that you should be seeing more. I'll be trying to
figure out a way to mount a GoPro in this once I get a new body. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and see you later.